the modern women, and I specifically mean modern women, have this ability to go ahead and act more masculine for many reasons. When women are like that, you do follow up with the whole, the need to be right, the guilt, the shame, the name calling, everything that follows from trying to be masculine when you should be feminine, stay in your lane. Because men don't want that. I personally don't want to, to be with, date, marry, whatever, or sleep with a masculine woman. I think it's unattractive. I think it, it, it doesn't even, to me, it doesn't even go in the same sentence. The human race is divided in two distinct sexes male and female. While the typical man is a simple creature, there exists a subgroup, the nice guy, a dying breed of chivalrous, romantic, domesticated gentlemen whose qualities are desired by the opposite sex, allegedly. However, they are dismissed and confined in such concepts as the bestie, work husband, and the dreaded friend zone. Joe, Jason, and Manny are the last of the nice guys. Yeah, so I told her, I was like, yeah, you got to go down on my dick. I mean, you can't do it. Hey, guys, how's everything coming? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, welcome wow. to another exciting episode of The Last of the Nice Guys. <sighs> Forgive my my recent conversation I just had just now. Um, inappropriate. That, yeah. um, hi, I'm Joe. With me uh, is... Jason and Manny, apparently. Yeah, yes, apparently. and, and this, <laughs> this week is another um, topic by moi. Because I begged them um, uh, if I can if I can take this this week's topic, me. I kissed you. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> but I just I, so I gave it back, you know, because apparently I don't show love, so I gotta show love when it's given to me. Okay, well, I'll, all right, well, I'll give you the real thing when I come down there. Um, so um, today's today's episode, this week's topic, I mean, uh, is by me, like I said, and uh, which is again because last week was also my topic, so this time this, this again. Is my topic. This is way it's too much of explanation. What's the my topic? my topic of choice is the lack of femininity in modern women. Hence our backgrounds. Uh, we tried our best to get the best. We did. We possible. did. We tried our best. Of course, I I, I went the dick way, and uh, Man Man went, 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 went the introspective way. I guess insanely <laughs> fucking bodybuilding. Joe, Joe did the women. absurd, like 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 cerebral, because I have no idea what I'm looking at. So so on uh, top on top over here is supposed to say mass is supposed to be feminine men, and over here is supposed to say masculine women. I I don't see it, but but okay, it's like old, old it's yeah. old school shit. Yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah. before we get started, we do have a comment um, from our, is your ex responsible for upkeeping the lifestyle they introduced you to uh, on our YouTube as episode 48? Check it out. It's a good episode. That's Ashley, awesome. I, aka Bloggy, Blog I, was it Bloggy Mommy? Blog I Mommy? Was it? Blog I Mommy. Blog I Mommy Incorporated. Uh, she says, my answer is hell no. <laughs> she knew she couldn't maintain that lifestyle before dating him and she should have made sure she'd be able to afford that post relationship with him relationships don't last forever and no woman or man should expect their ex to maintain that lifestyle for them she should have took the initiative to do better so as not to be a burden to him even if he was that kind of even if he had that kind of money the problem is that so many women want to be kept out kept but don't bring anything to the table mentally emotionally or physically amen p.s there's nothing wrong with living with cats so Thanks a lot, Ashley. And and it's it's refreshing to hear a woman co-sign on that and that and just not um, agree with that nonsense. Because some of the women, I had to break it down for them. They're like, well, well, if it was, I said, no, no, we're not talking about marriage. We're not even talking about a, a, a long-term living relationship. We're talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. And only after I broke it down did they say, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he shouldn't be paying, blah, blah, blah. 
the fact that she says the very first answer is my answer is hell no and doesn't inquire about well well what is the specifics or getting technical i res- i respect that jen's response that's my sister so i paid her to say that not like um but it is my money sister. money well spent <laughs> but it is my sister um she i mean we we I, I practically raised my sister, so whatever I say, she's gonna like mirror That's at some right. point. That's right. Um, That's right. So she knows. Why did you, you know, move like this? What, what was this? Why did you do that, Jason? Huh? Why did you you move? Wait, I, was, I was I was shaking right. it off. Shake it off. Shh sh- sh- Shake it off. Hey Joey, Joey. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. Look at the shirt. Joey. Look at the shirt. See this? Don't don't be a pizza shit. Yeah. Okay. Stop being a piece oh, of piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> piece of shit. Piece oh, of shit. don't be a piece of shit. I got yeah, it. I mean, don't yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with my uh my my sister. She's 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 right. I mean, if last you can't nice the Joe is on last nice guys. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry. Okay. Um if if you're introduced <laughs> into a lifestyle and you cannot afford it yourself. You should give up said lifestyle or find a means to take care of it. Um, nobody else should be doing that for you. I mean, I mean that that's true if you did it for yourself. If you got yourself an upgrade for your life and you couldn't maintain it by yourself, why would you continue suffering in it? Exactly. It, it's just pure stupidity. 100% agree. 100%. Yeah. Uh, anything else I'm, you want to add to it before we get to your topic? I'm glad she said that the... Uh, the, the the hell no like I'm, I'm it's nice to hear women actually uh like going against women because <laughs> because we need we need, we need a we lot need, of that we need women to go against women we need no we, we need women to actually tell the truth to modern women this. so they can wake the fuck up and stop thinking that everything is going to be handed to them you're right you're right yeah uh so lastly um because people didn't believe me that I would do it. And, and so I'm going to say it here. Uh, the, the final nail in the coffin, the addendum to, to a portrait of a, of a breakup from a man's point of view. Yes, I ended up throwing her stuff out. And Trash. yes, yes, I sent, I sent yeah. videos to my homies yes, as, yes, yes. As, as, as proof. And yes, <laughs> she reached out the, 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 the very next day for her stuff. No joke. So I'm going to just read to you real quick what was said. So... <laughs> <laughs> spoilers <laughs> she said this is, uh, she says hey you busy later i put a question mark she said you home i said no why she said because i'm trying to get my stuff but if you are not home maybe saturday so i read that and and, and i won't lie i began a, a smirk appeared on my face it did so i i replied with unfortunately i threw them out tuesday um you were a no call no show last saturday so i figured you didn't want it by by meaning when she when I originally threw the stuff out, she said she was coming for it. I took it out of the garbage, dusted it off, and I put it there waiting for her to show up on a Friday. She never showed up. I mean, no text, no call, no saying I'm not showing, I'm not coming. So I said, you know what? She clearly doesn't want this thing. It's been here for four weeks, tossed it out. So that's what I meant. She was a no call, no show Saturday. Her response is, what the hell? Nice one with all its exclamation points. And I, so I said, um, it should not have taken you four weeks to retrieve your stuff uh, name redacted. If you really wanted it, you would have came for it immediately. It is unreasonable for you to assume that I would have kept it that long and highly inconsiderate of you to tell me you were coming last Saturday and then not show up or inform me you weren't coming. No response because I, I said one minute later, that being said, take care, delete my number, and please don't ever contact me ever again. And, and bless her heart, she didn't reply. So I'm, I'm now I'm, now I'm deleting that 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 text. So yes, gentlemen and ladies who actually cared and reached out and wondered, I did end up throwing it out. She did end up asking to come get it, and it was gone. No joke, it was in the garbage. More garbage was put on top of it, and it went out in the trash good. on Tuesday. About so it, time. so it was gone. And I don't I have no remorse. I don't feel bad that that I did that. Again, I held on to it for four weeks. And the day she said she was going to come, she didn't show up. She didn't call. She hasn't changed. For all she knew, I was sitting at home waiting for her to show up to make sure she can get it. And nothing, which is fine. Nothing. nothing. But in the end, I respected myself. I didn't want the stuff inside, inside my home anymore. I was tired of it. I was no, I wasn't mailing it to her like some of you said I should do. And I was absolutely not going to go drive it to her. She wanted it. She could come get it. Okay. And again, she doesn't work for, for five days a week. She could have got it. She could have sent somebody to get it. Anybody could have gotten it. I don't care. But if you really wanted your stuff, 
You could have gotten it. You should have gotten it, especially when you dump the, the, the dude. Give me a break now. Come on. The nice guy in me only lasts for so long. So that is it. Um, that story is over. And I'm, I'm glad for those that I, uh, that I entertained. Because a lot of people were entertained with the story because they said I'm hilarious when I'm stressed out or, or, or fucking pissed. But um, yeah, that's it. So what I'm going to throw what I'm going to throw out there to, to the women listening. Do you think I was wrong? Now, I gave you the entire situation, the entire scenario. And in the end, yes, I threw out her stuff. Um, do you think I was wrong? Do you think I, I, I do you, would you, would you have expected me to handle it differently? Men, same as you guys. I asked other guys. I even called Joe because, you know, I looked at her response and I was just like, Joe, was I wrong? And, you know, how long, I asked Joe, how long would you have held on to her stuff? And he said, I'll throw it out the same fucking day, you know? <laughs> But then he said, "What you'd give her like a week or a day or two, and then out of it." I give her, I give her like honestly three, two to three days. Yeah. See, so if you really want something, which is your, no, your which own, is your own possessions, it's your own stuff. It's your possessions, yeah. like you know, it's something that I'm you own. Why, why wouldn't telling, you want to get back? Yeah. Right. I wasn't telling you can couldn't come get it when, we, when you ended it. I said, "Please tell me, that, please let me know when you come and get your stuff. Come get it." Which means within a week, man, man, real quick before we go into today's topic. In my situation, um, how long would you have kept the woman's things? So I'm going to, I'm going to say two things. Um, I would have, if it was like clothes, like, you know, personal items in that aspect, yeah. uh, I would have given it about like a week, you know, like all the toiletries and stuff immediately yeah. in the garbage, you know, oh, yeah. uh, all that feminine stuff, yep. trash, but uh, clothes, whatever, you know, uh-huh. hold on to that for a little bit and just, but how long, give me, give, me, give me a time frame. Give me, how long are we talking? Right. How long would you, a week? Okay. I would give it a week because nobody in this God given earth works seven days a week that right. they cannot you know or or work all day that right they can't take set aside a certain portion of time of the day yeah like what are you to, doing to show up <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing like what, 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 what are you what are you what are you really doing what are you doing what are you really doing hey doing? don't be a piece okay. of shit Talk I, was, to me. I wasn't even <laughs> i wasn't even really jason totally me really <laughs> totally, Wait, totally. there's, there's absolutely doing? there's absolutely no reason for that so um yeah, you mean the toiletries, all that other feminine mm-hmm. product stuff, trash, hold the girl, the, the the clothes for like a small portion of time, and then right. trash. Yeah. trash. And then, you know, I, I wouldn't even have brought it up. Like I, after I trashed it, I wouldn't have said nothing. And then oh, take hey, her uh, and then take her physically trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let her, let her tell, know, her come I, get tell her to come get her stuff. It's ready. When she comes, pick her up and put her in the trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you where your stuff is, you know. That's right. There it is. All right. Just wait or, here. Or or draw her a treasure map with crayon, you know, and be like uh, X marks the spot. And that'll be the trash. landfill. Trash. That's so funny. <laughs> so yeah, I was just wondering because I'm and again, I don't regret my decisions whatsoever, but at the same time, when somebody freaks out on you, you know, anybody with, with any kind of conscience or oops or or heart would be like, did I do the wrong thing? Or was I was I was I wrong for, for how I handled that? No. So no, so, um, no. but I, I am I'm fully, fully fine with it. So and that's the end of that. So thanks a lot, guys. That's it. Again, those women, I'd love to hear your take on this. Was you know how long if, if you were her, how long would you have expected a man that you dumped for whatever reason to hold on to your things? Or how soon would you have gotten your stuff? You know, was four weeks not long enough? Was that you know, I'd I'd love to hear it. So uh, email us last of nice guys at yahoo.com or comment on 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 our uh video recap that's usually where you guys are sending our comments anyway so i I love it seriously we'd love to hear this um all right and that's it so joe repeat your topic and let's get into it so the lack of femininity in modern women today well i didn't put the word today in there i just put modern women but what um what inspired this um what inspired (laughs) honestly who, who hurt you joe who hurt you no one did who ins- that's n word somebody yeah. grabbed you huh your mama that's who called me that makes um, sense because <laughs> <rough. laughs> because to her you are a bitch ass n Ooh. you know your mother loves me she 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 bake me a cake that doesn't, uh, that doesn't, uh, mean, and, she, and, that doesn't and, mean she doesn't call you a bitch behind your back <laughs> so by the way we're breaking rules here because you know <laughs> Mama Man Man said stop cursing. Oh, she <laughs> so, did? So she can share did she this really? on Facebook. She did. She did. Okay, well, so we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Stop cursing them. Because I don't yeah. want to disrespect Mama Mama Manny. No, well, here's here's <laughs> here's 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 the thing. So my mom is a moderator for a very decent sized uh social media group. 
And she wants to share all of our content, but the one issue is she doesn't want anybody to feel a certain kind of way because we use language that people not, might not yeah. be okay and with. And that's primarily my fault. I have to blame myself. It's that white privilege. Yeah, um, yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, but, you definitely um, have the worst than us. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really bad uh, Italian. Because I'm pretty sure that when, whenever, whenever Man, Man, Matt, 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 whenever Manny and I do this podcast without you, I think we're very, very well spoken. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm well spoken with a little cursing. It's just, it's just like having a, a big whole ice cream cake from Carvel, but you throw in like hot tamales or something in there. Where, right, right, where the middle is, is, is kind of like, like frostbitten. Yeah, like your face. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, what inspired you? What inspired you with, with, with this? 30 to 40 minutes before we even began this episode today, I was mm-hmm. watching my, our good guy and savior, Kevin Samuels. Amen. And- <laughs> praise, praise be to Kevin Samuels. And he was responding to a YouTube um, influencer that was having an interview with another guy. Um, and she was going off about how bad he is, how he shits on oops, oops, craps on claps uh craps on black women or women in general and doesn't respect them all this up just mumble jumble without even having a, a, an inch of 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 uh googling on what this guy really does and why he says what he says so what he said was basically in a nutshell that women can't stand the modern women can't stand the truth and he also mentioned in the same sentence that a lot of these women have this ability to, the modern women, and I specifically mean modern women, have this ability to go ahead and act more masculine for many reasons. Um, one of which he said is their upbringing and how they were raised. They were raised to act, and I think we mentioned this, all three of us talked about this like a little briefly in one, like either the last episode or the episode before, where we mentioned how modern women today, they have this, uh, um, this 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 little tint of like uh, uh, being more masculine than like most men because most men already are masculine because that's just in our nature we're we're, we're, we're born to be masculine allegedly exactly but the modern women to the, the women today they they come off as uh, I guess um, they're supposed to be more the alpha or the or the more masculine person uh, um, if they're in a relationship uh, or even if they're trying to date. Um, more so than the man that they're talking to or trying to talk to. And I think that to me brings so many issues and problems um, because you do follow up when, when, when women are like that, you do follow up with the whole, the need to be right, the guilt, the shame, the name calling, everything that follows from trying to be masculine when you should be feminine, stay in your lane. That comes, all of that comes with trying to be this, masculine women for no reason because men don't want that i personally don't want to to be with date marry whatever or sleep with a masculine woman i think it's unattractive i think it 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 doesn't even to me it doesn't even go in the same sentence because when you're thinking about women you're thinking about beauty uh you know uh, um, um grace and then feminism and that's why i always put those things together but when i think of women when people think of women nowadays it's more like Oh yeah, uh, um, the need to be right, masculine. You know, it's the, it's just things that don't, it, these 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 t- these categories don't make sense to me. So I, that's why I, I wanted to bring this up in this episode because I want you guys, I want to get, you, you know, you you guys on board with like why do you think modern modern women today, not women like back in the day, modern women today, our generation, um, why? are they more inclined to be or try to uh, uh, think in a masculine way? Like, what, why is that? Why, why, why do you think this is happening more and more now? Uh, the Me Too movement, time's up, all the wokeness. Um, not, not, not saying it's a bad thing, but what I am saying though, is that it, it's empowering women, but, it's, but it's, it's with great power comes great responsibility. And what does mm. power do? Power it corrupts, works. absolutely. So that's really what it is, is that they, they're feeling very empowered and they're puffing up their chest and they're now saying, not only is it, are we taking down toxic masculinity because we're powerful enough to do that, but just all men aren't shit to begin with. So right. you know, we, we rock and because we rock y'all ain't and we're the <laughs> I'm just saying like, no. like, like, like that's, that's how I see it. it, it this, this really, it's not, it's not a, um, 
what's the word I want to use? It's not a coincidence that you're bringing this topic up now, uh, you know, for our, 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 I like to say, 50th episode. Yeah. Our, for our 50th episode about a year later, and we've never, this, this is being brought up now after, after all these movements. So that's what it is. It's like, you know, you want to, it's a man's world. So think like a man, and now let's make it a woman's world. And, and let's devalue men because, you know, they've had the power all this time. We'll do it. And how, how's the, what's the best way to, to usurp somebody? By acting like them. I mean. Yeah. 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 Pretty much like what's, what's the best way to demask you uh, uh, or bring down, like you said, men nowadays yeah. is to shit on them even when they're good. Yep. You know, and that's something that I can't understand. Manny's like rubbing his hands again. That's what I said. He's ready. <laughs> Like, he's getting ready look, 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 like snap on, crackle pop i need this come on manny what do you think do you think that the modern woman today is like that yeah oh, fuck them stupid whatever um anyways um so no here, here's my thing and jay and i actually had a conversation with his sons about this the other day oh um, nice okay toxic masculinity right? i wasn't invited uh no you, 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 you never like, are sir. yeah you never are it's, it's just a nothing um you never are so toxic masculinity right the way I look at it as it's the same thing is as um, cancel culture. How do you exactly define the two? And again, I'm just gonna cancel culture is just a, a, an example. Toxic masculinity. Mm-hmm. That phrase came from obviously a woman who felt that they were just, you know, being usurped by a man for masculine purposes and yada, 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 yada. Mm-hmm. And then ensued Me Too movement and all that stuff. So my kind of argument with that is if there is such a thing as toxic masculinity, which of course there are because you have some meatheads that are just all about, you know, women. <sighs> Thank you, Anthony Mackie. Um, make daddy a sandwich. Um, <laughs> <and> <laughs> There are men no, out there. Should, that... you, should, you should just play that clip. I mean, why even <laughs> allude to it? Play the clip. All right, let me find it. Keep going. So, though. Keep going. So there is such a thing as toxic masculinity. I'm not saying it doesn't exist because you do have your men that were born and bred to be men, and um, they find it hard to believe that a woman uh, to be possible on their same level. Which, hey, I'm not that guy. I'm not. Any, I, none of us are. You know, allegedly. We're all created allegedly. Equal. We just all have a part to play in in our relationships. Men do their thing, or men do their thing, women do their thing. There's no, you cannot clash and try to be the one on top or the leader or, or you know, the man. Like, I like you can, as a, uh, so do I. That's the only way I like to. Anyway, um, so here's the clip. Um, it's it's um, what's your name? Anthony Mackie. No, no, no. Wendy Williams? I think it's Wendy yeah, Williams. Yeah, Wendy Williams. He said, Williams. He said Anthony Mackie. What's her name? Anthony Mackie. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? I love so many things. I just got dumb. So, um, <laughs> Wendy Williams is, is, is uh, interviewing Anthony Mackie and asking this one question. And I got to wait for it to. Um, okay, that wife not working. No, I got to go. So, she asked him this one question, and here it is. If he wants a sandwich, he'll make daddy a sandwich. Most of the time. No, 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 no. Let me ask you this. Well, okay, let me ask you this. If me and you out and somebody say something slick to you, you punch him in the face. You want me to smack him in his mouth, yep, right? That's right. So if I take you on a date and I say, look, baby, we're going to go Dutch. No. Exactly. If we walking up to the car and I don't open your car door, what do you say? Open the door. You better believe it. Yeah, no, I, I am with you. I think so you make daddy a sandwich. I think yes. I- yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so that goes to the inherent um, double standard of what's going on now is that they right. want us to fulfill our roles when they don't fulfill theirs or, or the traditional roles. They want you to still be chivalrous. They still want you to pay. They still want you to be um, the man in that sense, but they don't want to fulfill the typical or the traditional women role. And that's what we're talking about. Right. right. So my, my whole reason to bring it up is there is such a thing as being toxic masculine. Um, with everything going on currently, there will be toxic femininity. 
what, what about the this, adverse effects? What about just toxic humanity? You know, right. just, that's it. Like, why is it? Why is it toxic? There's toxic men, men toxic women. So just toxic people in right. general. Why can't it just be that you're a toxic person? Well, you that's what I'm saying? So everything, everything before, which is uh, solely based and focused on men, right? So now women are just like, well, how do you, how do you uh, counteract that? You go above the man. So now you're, you yourself are now becoming a toxic person and using your sexuality to do so. Um, a lot we, of this, can we, that, can we use that old phrase, two wrongs will make a right? Exactly. And that's, that's the issue. A lot of this has to do with, um, you know, uh, uh, countless women going through horrible relationships, mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. And then just thinking like, well, Maybe the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm treating men a certain kind of way. Maybe I just change that, start treating them worse or in a different manner, which can still be worse. Um, and, and, and I can topple that, that, uh, that statistic, which doesn't work very well. No, anyways, not at all. Um, a lot of this also has to do with what Kevin Samuel says, their upbringing. You have a lot of these nervous fathers and as a father of two girls, Super. It does make me nervous. Um, yes, supposedly. Um, it does make me nervous because I know how men think. I know how little boys think. I know how teenagers think. And I would hate to have to be that console, but that's a part of life. You cannot protect everybody from heartbreak, cheaters, liars. It's a part of life. It's going to happen everywhere. You know, I cannot protect. I can just teach them uh, a, a, a means to look at it. Teach they them, Daddy. They have to learn the difference between liars, cheaters, and somebody who's actually honestly just trying to be nice. And that's the, the issue. You're only taught the bad stuff. You're not taught how to see the good stuff. When you see the good stuff, you red flag it. Something's wrong here. You know, and then when when you meet the man who is using the 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 good uh, ideals as a means to just get get that that cookie, that new new um mm. You know, you meet enough of those guys and you're just like, you know what? They're all like this. You socialize them completely. And then that's where this masculinity comes from with women. Because they're like, yeah, I know, I know what you men are about. What does that mean? <laughs> so should I say, I know what you women are about? I'm not like any woman. Well, I'm not like every other man either. That's what they like, all say. Yeah, that's what Ooh, they all say. That's, that's, that's literally the response. I've gotten that before. Yeah. I'd be, like, be like, check it out. I'm not trying to be like the shit, but I, real talk, I'm not like a typical guy. I really have not, you know, and yeah. they're like, you're whatever. You, yeah, you're yeah, I've gotten that before in the past. Yeah. Oh, you, I, you're, you're the same. You must well, be the no, same. Well, no, I mean, Joe, you are the same. You, you don't count. But I mean, me, <laughs> me personally, I'm not. I'm not as, as individuals of color, we actually have to, you know, utilize. As certain. individuals <laughs> of color. Color. So now he's bringing <laughs> race into this. We're getting canceled tomorrow. He said, <laughs> I'll be very clear. He said as individuals of color, which is the perfect politically correct vernacular of saying niggas. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting canceled. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. We're getting canceled. Oh, Manny. I just, I can't help myself. I, I can't. Toxic women today that are considered the modern women become more masculine because they try to fight um, the um, us men into thinking that we're wrong about us about us telling them the truth about themselves if that makes any sense what I'm saying in other words they can't handle the actual truth they can't which handle is, being called out That's exactly I mean. which is the reason why we are shamed put into guilt positions um, I like know, guilty positions guilty but oh, yeah guilty positions um, <laughs> Guilt into put uh, guilt, being yeah being put into guilt positions, um, called all sorts of names because they don't have any other counter strike into given you know in, into into basically saying you know hey you're actually right I, I have never met one a one woman to this day that has said you know what you actually may be right no I, I don't. I have not not well me personally, but I'm no, no, saying. me I have plenty of times, but not in the moment. In hindsight, oh no, yeah, never in the moment. And that's what I'm saying, and that's my problem is that is that, is that in hindsight is 2020. 
anybody with enough time can can realize that something they, they said it was wrong whatever anytime but but I, I so i'd say i've never had a woman say i'm right in the moment they have to go and think about it and it could be days weeks months it's one 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 chick took a couple of years to come back at me and say you know what you said was right well that's interesting i'm getting a, vo a video chat from someone interesting um cool i uh wow um holy crap what was i gonna say to you sorry this throws me off uh yeah wait, so wait, 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 wait. we have to we have to confront this live on air who's the who's the who was video chatting you? Her name I would have I would have picked it up and been like, hey. I would have picked I, it up. I, I can't pick it up. Not when I'm recording. I don't do that around recording. I, I would have been like, hey, um look, my name, my name's not Joe. Not even close. Oh, should, should I do it? Should I've I do done it? that before. Should I do it? All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm 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 doing it right now. And they're hey. calling again. What's going on? I'm actually in the middle of a podcast recording session right now. So let me let me let me let me bring you back when I'm done. All right, bye. Who, uh, I would have, I would have, I would have made it a little bit more uh, interesting. Who, but like, look, who the f u c k was that? That, um. <laughs> wow! Somebody just took your breath away. I know. <laughs> no, no. Wow. He, listen, he he speaks. He? <laughs> no, because no. You she, say he? Yes. She, no, she. Yes. Um, it's finally coming out. She. I met her a while ago. Um, she was like a backup dancer for Flo Rida. And she's an aspiring model and an aspiring actress. And she just like disappeared. She's, she has gorgeous eyes, the most amazing eyes, okay? So anyway, she just kind of like disappeared for years, especially since I stopped working with those artists. I stopped being like, like the videographer for those things. So she just started messaging me again, um, oh, like a couple of weeks ago. So I was just interested about the, anyway, women are hypocritical. And they need to make that easy. <laughs> um, he got thrown off so bad. I got thrown because, because <laughs> I, was like, I was like, whoa. It's not even funny. He got thrown his, off so bad. His track of, his train of thought is gone now. It's gone. It's absolutely um, gone. I'm just like, yo, what's up? But um, mm -hmm. what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something to what you just said, Joe. You got lost. A, you lost a train of thought too, Manny. Oh yeah, that's 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 how serious that phone call was just now. That it even threw Manny off. Ooh, uh, I, can't, I can't wait to get the tea tomorrow. There's there's no tea really. Yes, there, there's tea. There's always tea, bro. There's always there's tea. Always. I have a whole cabinet full of tea. Oh, I okay. I got I got I got myself now. Okay, so a lot of these modern women don't seem to understand that relationships are a Co uh, what do you call it? A co-op, basically. Co-op, cooperative. Yeah, a cooperative situation. Um, it, it is, is two people. Yeah. Oh, really? Isn't that crazy? It's like a two-player video game. It's anyway, thing. Um, it's two people awaiting two players. Player right. two. Player two. Go, ready, player one. Where's player two? Um, it's two people engaging in a situation together, climbing into that situation together. Mm -hmm. It's not a fight. It's not about I need to be in charge. You need to be in charge. I need to. It, it's it's together. Stop. There's no one is in charge. No one is running the show. Together, it's supposed to be two people interacting together, building something together. Together is the word here. Okay. Stop with the masculinity. Stop trying to gain control. More most uh, most of us men, normal men, we don't want control of anything. We just want peace. We want to create something with you and then we want to move forward together. That is the word of the day, together. We're not trying to put you in a basement, hide you from everybody in the world because uh, you know you just don't deserve to see sunlight because um, that's definitely not how I treat anybody. Shut up. Allegedly, allegedly. Um, uh, but you know, <laughs> shut, shut up, shut up, bitch. Shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Um, <laughs> come here, bitch. You know, just we want Chris, a sandwich. Chris, Chris, Chris. Yeah. We, we, we want a sandwich when daddy says make a sandwich. Okay. We'll do what we have to do. But again, it's just, it's, it's give and give. That's the whole thing. You're doing everything together. There's no one person takes charge. There's no one person. The relationship is about us. It's not me. It's not just you. It's us. And if you forget that, 
at any point, you should not try to get yourself into a relationship. It's a yeah. partnership. That's so how the does this, deal. So then how does this circle back to the lack of femininity in the modern woman? Because they're trying to take charge of too many things. They're trying to usurp the male impact in any situation. Mm-hmm. Like, like uh, if, if a man says, well, like Anthony Mackie says, oh, well, you should make me a sandwich because that's the least you can do for me putting myself on the line for some random stranger who calls you out of your name out mm-hmm. in public. Mm-hmm. The least you can do is make me a damn sandwich. You know, what is damn. that? I, then with- I, I lost sight in my left eye, <laughs> you know, because that man was like, damn, she got some booty. And, and I was like, no, nah, man, that's my girl. And then bam, bam, I'm dead. Like, I, I can't see nothing. If I want a sandwich, make me a sandwich, girl. That's it. You know, but no, you want to be like, I don't think that's right. You should have did more. You should have called her up. Cut it out, man. The masculine women want us to make them a sandwich now. Right. That's that's yeah. that's that's what we're take supposed your to. blind ass to the kitchen and make the damn sandwich yourself, and while you're in there, make me one too. I never, I understand that. Why, like, I I don't get why it's like today they the, this whole new thing of them wanting us to submit to them, like that shit. I mean, ooh, I'm sorry, I keep person that stuff really pisses me off. I've heard that oh. recently from somebody uh, a couple of days ago, and it brought up a good point. It was like why 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 even submit period on both sides i mean unless you're doing it in a sexual way that's a different story but non-sexual why why 50 shades of joe i knew it. yeah i he's, love that he's, movie. he's always the bottom he is um he's a sub he's always been yeah. a sub good looking yeah, sub nonetheless but always a sub it's basically it's like that one scene for for happy woman's day in deadpool that's Joe's life. 20- Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so- <laughs> you see, you see we try to get serious with these two. Well, I, to be honest with you, we wanted to we wanted to do a, a lighthearted topic this this one because the last couple episodes have been really like downers. Like, no, I, no, no. I, I wanted to bring this up on purpose for I I didn't want to say it like no, I get you literally on air, but I felt like this was something that I actually wanted to bring up. I just oh, couldn't no, put, absolutely couldn't put I, put I couldn't put the title of the topic uh, together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you just you just hate women um, that try to not be in their place and they just need to be in their place and you know men control everything because it's a man's world uh-huh, and right. um you know women just need to shut up make babies and make men some yeah barefoot and pregnant in, in the kitchen pretty much what? In, in a nutshell <laughs> <laughs> we're getting canceled um we are getting pre- canceled. Pre- we've already pre- been canceled yeah pretty no i'm okay not y- yes and no to half of the things you said and i'm gonna say 50 50 but i'm gonna say more along the lines of 80 20 because um, like I said before, I find that the the masculine women have traits of guilt shaming, name calling, the ability to, uh, or 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 yeah, yeah, having the ability to always be right, no matter what. That even when you tell them that they're wrong, or they know they're wrong, there's this cognitive dissonance that comes with them that says, "Oh, I have to be right because." I'm a woman roar. Like it, it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and it that, never it never will. You know what that translates to? Common toxicity. That's what it is. It is pure toxicity. Anybody that does this, whether it be male, female, chair, car, door, attack helicopter, lizard, <laughs> you know, anything. If this is how they're living their lives, it it's it's toxicity. And oh yeah. That not only does it scream toxicity, it it turns the opposite sex off or same sex, depending on you know, oh, completely whatever off, whatever you want, way off. It turns, them off. It no turns one, them off, way off. Yeah, no one is trying to battle with you on you know what your stature is in the relationship, whether you're the feminine or the or the masculine one. No, no one's fighting you. No one wants to fight that. You know, it should be a simple conversation. This is who I am. This is who you are. Bam. Are we going to continue together? Or not, yeah. we're not gonna we're not gonna walk at the same pace and then fight constantly about it, you know. About no, you should be doing this because this is who I am. And right. if you don't like that, you know, submit, bitch. No, I mean, be hot. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you 
mom, I'm so sorry. I know you love me and everything, but I'm sorry. Um, but you know, that that's the main issue. The main issue is just the that these masculine women nowadays are, you know, again, I understand the whole Me Too movement. I understand them finally having a voice. I understand them, you know, fighting for equality, what have you. That's fine. I'm all, I'm all on board for this. I'm I'm great. Everybody deserves equality. I'm okay with this. But when you as a woman defame, degrade a man who is supposed to normally be the masculine one just for the sake of your insecurities, mm -hmm. that is an issue that is toxic, that is not attractive. No one cares about that. I'm telling you, right? If someone comes up to me and says, I'm more of a man than you, I'm sorry. Then you, you, you're a lesbian then at this point. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and well, you need to find yourself a woman to be with at this point. You need to go ahead and and, and try that pie. Right. Like lick, lick it. If that if that's your argument here, like I'm he, he likes American pie guys. Uh I like cherry pie. It's great. Uh and apple and pie. I like um, apple. Apple pie is great. Mm. It's yummy, it's scrumptious, especially with the crumbs. Oh yeah. Jay, um, could you Jay, could you make me that next time I come down there? What do you want? An apple pie? Yeah. Dude, I don't bake pies. It's not my thing. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. not true. That's not true. I, I did a pecan pie and I did. Yeah, uh, I know. Because I saw it on the fucking v feed that you had yeah, um, the other day. Um, dude, dude, listen, I'm good at what I do. I mean, just because you uh, <laughs> are all about that toxic masculinity, you don't cook for yourself. Okay, either either she cooks or you, or you, or you just order out. I can hold my own. I can hold my own. It's the opposite. I actually do cook. That's, that's the... No, the, no, the fuck you don't. Tortellini does not count. You just no. Buy, I mean, I do. You buy that shit from 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 uh from t Target. You bought it for five minutes. I told phone. you to buy it from Target, and you're the one who picked it up. The look best, at you. Look at you. Thing <laughs> in my life. But 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 hold on now. Hold on now. Have you cooked for me, motherfucker? No, you have not. I'm not gonna go and walk in your kitchen and be like, okay, let me start up a five star Dude, we, meal we, for we, a J. No, you do days. that. You, you do cook that shit. in a t shirt. And an underwear, and that, and you. Just I want. I around. want you. In if the he kitchen, allows me to, to do I want that. you in the kitchen, kitchen, and a in a in a wife beater, and tight boxer briefs now. Fine. And you got mid, your little mid July you're dancing. Mid. He said mid July. <laughs> mid July to late July. I, I will. Mid July is like next week. So stop. Exactly. Late July. Actually, late actually we're in, we're kind of in mid July now, so I don't yeah. even want to hear you. Yeah, you're right. So, I'm actually making yeah. preparations to um come down there anyway for uh the offspring's birthday. So I'll give you a preparation oh, HD, bro. Okay. I don't know, that's prep, right. Prep preparation. So, let's, let's let's wrap it up a little bit because I'm tired and I'm recording two sessions back to back. Not of this podcast. <laughs> podcast. Oh, <sorry. laughs> yeah. Um. So I'm really tired. Um, so final thoughts, gents. Uh, let's go with man, me, man Manny first. Yeah, first. I'm sorry, because freaking they call it a different thing in all the podcasts. What do you want me to do? We're all over the place. We're all over the place. All right. So women okay, or an, an individual that identifies himself as a feminine person, please, the toxicity in this masculinity fight, it needs to stop. Mm -hmm. Figure out what you are, who you want to be, Find your partner that will follow through and, and be on board with what you choose to be mm -hmm. and, and just make it work. Don't fight to make it work. Make it work. It needs to mesh. It needs to blend. That's what relationships are for. It's a partnership, something that you work on together. If you are fighting to figure out which one is in charge, that is not going to work on anything in the world. Just stop okay women nowadays i understand your fathers raised you because they they were scared of how they grew up and they know what little boys are doing nowadays whatever let it go what your father has always taught you what your broken-hearted mother has shown you it's not always reality take the time step out of your box figure it out for yourself don't just judge by what society has told you what your family has told you which screw your friends um just figure it out for yourself. If you if you learn that it is what everybody else says, okay, fine. You got to win. That's fine. But it's not always what it looks like. Just take a step back, take a breath, think for yourself, and then move on. Mm. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm. Mm. The <laughs> um... I turned you on. 
Mm, it did actually did a lot, but he, but I mean, he always does. So it's okay. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I, 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 um, I, I made this topic, like I said earlier, because I, I saw our Lord and Savior, Kevin Samuels, talk about it. And I also uh, had a epiphany um, a couple of days ago, a personal one when it came to this topic, because I was thinking about it. And it, um, it, it, it really was concerning to me because I, I, I wanted to voice out or vent my concerns about why uh, modern women today really need to overthink, like really need to reevaluate how they um, look at themselves in certain relationships. If you are trying to be the feminist or, or, or more, 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 more feminist in the relationship, I think that's what the route that you should be going towards and leave the masculine and leave the masculine men to themselves because that's what usually would work um if you find yourself being more masculine like we mentioned before there are plenty of gay women out there be my guest because one of you can choose between the other and top bottom or strap on or not it doesn't matter quickly yeah i mean i'm just saying it's just it's just the truth and we like we always talk about the truth you're making uh uh, manny nervous the truth is very difficult for them to hear yes sprinkle knowledge on there i'm just bringing knowledge Sprinkle. You cannot be a feminist if you are trying to be masculine. Exactly. That is true. Exactly. You cannot be a feminist yeah, exactly. if you're fighting to be masculine. Exactly. Sprinkle all of it. All salt of it. Bay. Sea salt. Sea, sea salt, too. Salt bay. Sea salt. The fresh <laughs> sea happening? salt. Because, they, I mean, this is truth. This is truth, truth salt being dropped it, onto, it, these, it just, onto these it, people. It just looks like fairy dust, but carry on um you're a fairy yeah, i mean yeah i totally <laughs> these gentlemen um i don't really have much more to add to this because uh because he got a minute he got a he got a phone call because I, <laughs> no, I got a video chat that's what it is i got a video chat look daddy's moving on pretty fast okay you gotta leave him alone um i'm actually not even mad that's 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 what i find funny about it that's another topic i want to talk about is is house what is it too soon or or to, to move on for the dumb not when it comes to your situation no right i get it i get it how soon is too yeah. soon to move on for the for the person that the dumper and the dumpy so it, that, yeah. that's, that's for the future move on um, tomorrow but yeah exactly right so yeah. anyway um that being said uh all i really want to say is definitely if you think i was wrong for throwing out that chick stuff please email me i'm dying to hear this shit okay i'm dead serious i'm curious oh uh, and that's about it so that's it for last of the nice guys <laughs> i'm jason uh, i'm joe and i'm manny And he's got that delay. And thank you for your time. The last of the nice guys. Hey, guys. This is Manny from Last of the Nice Guys. I'm still waiting for your messages. Ask Manny. What what is the segment that we're calling it? It's called (laughs) Ask Dear, Dear, Dear Dr. Manny. Dear Dr. Manny, I'm still waiting. If you have relationship issues, you need some advice, uh, you think Joe's a piece of crap, uh, Jason might be right sometimes. Hey, whatever. I'm here to answer your call. Email. Call me now. Call me now. I need to find out who the father of the baby is. <laughs> a lot of mercy. Um, lot of mercy. I'm here to answer your text call. Joe, <laughs> <that's cool. laughs> and, and yeah, I'm not a professional in anything, but I will tell you truth because that's what I do. I truth bomb the sh- crap out of everything. Follow, like, and subscribe on Twitter and Instagram at Last Nice Guys, Facebook.com slash Last Nice Guys, or email Last of the Nice Guys at Yahoo.com. <laughs>